So before I started recording this episode, I thought, you know, I haven't sold any items lately. Do I have anything to sell for money in ThiefNet? Yes, I do. And then I realized with that, I have enough money to... Okay, for some reason, I can't go all the way down by holding the button. But with that, we were able to get enough money to get the paraglide, which you do by jumping and pressing the R1 button. And now we have, as it says, a paraglide, which will come in handy for the rest of this area and the rest of the game. It is one of the best gadgets in the game. So, well, hey, my fellow video gamers and Let's Players, I'm Plays, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Sly 2 Band of Thieves. That whole intro, I felt a cough coming, and I kind of just powered through the intro before I actually did the cough. Anyways, in the last episode, we started episode 5, A Tangled Web, by doing a little bit of reconnaissance around the whole area, which is a little bit new for us, and then we had a little bit of trouble getting to the Murray mission, and then we got to the Murray mission. In this episode, with a little less trouble getting to, we have Ghost Capture, which is not one of my favorite missions, but it is, it is better than the Bentley one. If I can talk, geez. Right, Sly, there's your new objective. Sneak inside and smash the coffin of the evil wolf priestess. Sounds pretty harsh. Does the old girl really deserve that sort of treatment? Weren't you listening? She was an evil wolf priestess. Once you smash the coffin, it'll free all the ghosts trapped in there with her. Okay, I don't know where you're going with all of this, but freeing trapped ghosts sounds vaguely heroic. I don't know if it's really heroic, Sly, but it's definitely kind of weird. I really hope we can get by this guy, so the one- I actually kind of don't want the flashlight guard to find us, and I also didn't want to try pickpocketing the guy. I actually wanted to go in the room, which I believe this area actually has a glitch where you can get on top of the area, but I'm not fully sure. Yes, I believe it is because we have these weird pendulum swinging things that you can literally just- well, don't land on those platforms, you'll get spiked. But you can literally just press the circle button and jump on, and it's a little bit easier than the other way by just jumping right through them. But once you get into here, don't worry about the enemies, just try hitting that. Because it will kill all the enemies. And then all the ghosts come out. That doesn't seem all that good. Now head outside, and I'll fill you in on phase two. But he... It does do a good job, and the game actually puts you outside without having to run all the way outside, which is pretty nice. And the cutscene has not started yet, so I'll talk a little bit more. But it's going to start pretty soon. I modified the imager in your binoculum to capture ghosts. Didn't I just set these guys free? Why would I want to capture them again? Not to worry. It's only a short-term confinement. Gather all the ghosts then set them free down the chimney of Neela's headquarters. I get you. She'll think it's a sneak attack from the Contessa. Correct. If I did my math right, and I always do my math right, Neela should respond to the assault by purchasing more firepower. Anything bad for the Contessa is good for us. And we get to really freak out Neela. I don't know how Neela purchasing more firepower, I don't know what that has to do with math, but what we, what we have to actually do here is we have to take a picture of all these ghosts, and somehow the ghosts go into our camera or something? I have no idea how this works. It is literally a second reconnaissance mission, and I believe the only mission, other than the reconnaissance missions, where you actually use your Binoculum's camera feature. I know, you don't really use it for any other missions other than that, and in Sly 3 you use it even less. I believe in Sly 3 there's only like one mission where you actually use it. All the, like none of the other missions have anything to do with it. But there are, as you see, nine ghosts around this area. And whoa, what the heck? The markers were going crazy, but that is because these ghosts are moving and it can be a little hard to actually get a picture of them. So I might be too far away from him right now, so I think I'm going to have to go a little bit closer. But luckily, I believe most of these ghosts are on the Contessa side. And since we are on the Contessa side, we can just wait over here and wait for a good picture and then we can take it like that. God, I don't know what's wrong, but for some reason, my throat is very mucusy right now. And also, you might be hearing me trying to sound a little more exciting in this episode. That is because in the last session of Sly 2, I don't know, it just, I seemed kind of bored for some reason. 
I thought I was just talking perfectly fine. It might sound the exact same right now as it is, like, when I'm talking right now, but I have no idea because, as many of you guys know, your recorded voice sounds a hell of a lot different than the voice that you actually hear in your head because of, like, how audio bends back to your ears or whatever. I believe that means if someone was talking behind you, you'd hear it different as well, but I'm not sure. Now, there is a guy down here, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get his picture when he comes back here. I know he will come back here, though, but no, I cannot... I mean, I sadly cannot get his picture. I might have to actually jump down here to order, in order to actually get it, which I'm going to want to kill this guy, or maybe he'll find me. And then I have to kill him anyways. Can you just go off the side? Thank you. I do not want to worry about any other guards getting in my way. And as long as I stay on this platform, that tank should not see me. I mean, his light does somewhat go on this area, but I believe as long as I stay on that platform, he can at least not shoot me. He might be able to see me, but he definitely won't be able to shoot me. And I saw two tanks there. I used to think in this game, like in this area, there's only one of those tanks like there were in the last episode, but I think there might be more. I noticed that a little bit too late. By that, I mean I noticed it like the second before I fell off, and then I'm like, oh look, there's a thing, I better watch out for that. And I didn't watch out for that. And I fell. Oh god, this mission might take a while, but I don't want to complain too much about that. You know what I'm talking about when it comes to that thing there. It's it's just a very big pain for me, which might actually change when I try to start recording in college, which I'm still wondering if that's going to <coughs> excuse me, if that's going to work out that well or not. It all depends on how much time I will have to record because I'm not I don't think I ever told you guys my like college schedule. If you want to know, I only have classes Monday through Thursday and then Friday, Saturday and Sunday I have off, which will be good because my college is my college is only about 45 minutes away from where I live, so I can just drive right back home and possibly like relax, chill out with the family, which is one of the main things I wanted within a college. I didn't want to be too far away from family. Because I feel like, I don't know, then I wouldn't see them for who knows how long, and I really love my family, and not being able to see them would kind of suck. So, can I get this guy? Thank you. I've been ra- Ooh, okay, okay. I might have to slow that down, but I swear that was green when I took the picture. We're just gonna wait, because like I said, these ghosts go in a certain pattern of movement. I just really hope no guy comes behind me. And they aren't, and I think he just went by. That stupid little guy. Is he going to be coming around? Yes, he is, except he's way over here. Come on, camera, catch up to him. There we go. I was actually surprised that one actually counted, which it's funny because sometimes it's like, oh, the picture was too far. It wasn't in view and it's totally in view. And then other times only like half the ghost, like only the back half of the ghost is in the camera and it counts it. I don't know what this game's hit detection is when it comes to the pictures. It must be some weird kind of programming or whatever, but I, I just, it just doesn't seem like that is a great hit detection if sometimes the camera, the ghost is in full view and it works and other, I mean it doesn't work and other times the ghost is barely in view and nothing actually happens. Luckily I believe there is one up here, which if you want to know this is where we went to do that one mission when we went into the Contessa's area where Carmelita was. All I know is I think he's flying around there, and why do you wake up? I was tiptoeing. I'm going to hit you into the- I knew that was going to happen. I totally knew that that was probably going to happen. But hopefully there are no guards up around here, and I need to actually get way closer in order for this camera to actually pick up this guy. Luckily his flight pattern's not all that crazy, so I should be able to get him pretty easily. If I can actually catch up to him, come on camera, come. I might as well just wait back here until he comes back, because there's no way I was going to be able to get that. I think he's coming around the back, or he's coming around this way. I went in too low. Come on boy, go up a little higher, and then snap. Yeah. He does not have a jaw. In all honesty, if the picture doesn't show part of the ghost, does that mean that that part of the ghost isn't going to be there? And how many? Okay, there are three over around that area. So now I know once I get this last one here, I should be fine. And is there another guy up here? No, there is not another guy. Now, okay, please tell me this guy is up here. I think he is, but I'm not sure. Oh, this is another area I really like about this. There are some guards up there, guards, I mean, like, guard statues, I mean, where guards can pop out, but, I don't know, just this weird castle area awning is kind of cool. Any guards coming out? 
Got any. Luckily, if they are actually guards, they will kind of jump out and you can easily smack them off. And then they kind of just fall down to their death. And ooh, that is a nice area to get this ghost. Thank you. Now I do not have to worry about the Contessa side, which in all honesty is a lot more complex than the other side of the castle. And with our newly found Paraglide, we can glide to areas we could never go before, and it makes traveling a hell of a lot easier, except I think I'm going to activate one of these guys. Yes, I did. And you're dead. Okay. Now, I think there was a ghost somewhere around here. At least up. Yay, there he is. Luckily, they do not hurt you if they actually hit you or come in contact with you. I mean, I don't know if you'd think they would hurt you or not, but uh, it's just, it's nice to say and make sure. So that means if it does go through you, nothing bad will actually, I kind of knew that wasn't going to work. But that one did. Yeah. Oh god, they have freaky purple eyes. I don't think I ever really mentioned, no, I shouldn't say mentioned, because I never actually noticed that. But I don't know, I don't guess I just haven't really been paying attention to the ghosts that often. Maybe it's the higher res quality of the collection version that makes the eyes pop out even more. I mean, I don't know, but then again, high resolution quality does usually make something look better, I guess, well, duh. Of course high resolution makes things look better than low resolution. That's the whole idea of resolution, and I am 12 minutes into this mission already, and I am trying to wait for a time where I can just glide over here and not have too many tanks, okay. Why, why are you stopping, guys? I do not want you to stop. I just want to get to this area here before the tanks spot me, because yes, they can spot you on poles, as you know very well, when I died, and they do half your health, like that one bomb did, and you don't want that to happen. It's not very good. I, okay, there is one over here. Get that guy. And then there is one that's already kind of flying around Neela's headquarters, which is funny because this is where we're putting all of the ghosts anyways. So why do we even have to capture this one? It's already going through the headquarters, but whatever. You usually want to save this one for last because you can easily just go right to your next objective after you get this one. Like that. Or, no, come on, come on. Really, really, really? I was pretty close there. There we go. You have all the ghosts. Now just make and Bentley will be talking here, but we literally have to go over to the chimney right here and then put them down. See? Look how easy that was. We didn't have to move it all, or barely move it all, after we've gotten all the ghosts. So, the Contessa wants war, eh? Perhaps it's time I purchase a little air power. A few bombers should put that old charlatan in her place. Well, thanks for talking out loud. Now we know our plan worked perfectly. Sometimes I wonder if Bentley is a psychic. He says he's smart, but like I said, I don't think math can really figure that out in what I went... I actually homed in on the wrong object. I totally did not want to go to that one, but even though I could technically end this episode because it is like 13 minutes long, or even, maybe even close to 14 minutes, but I feel like that would be a little bit too short for an episode of Sly 2 Band of Thieves, especially in 2016. So we are going to start the next mission. We are definitely not going to finish it because this next mission is pretty long. You might be wondering why I, di I just didn't start with this mission if it was long and maybe one whole episode could just be this mission. But I decided, you know what? That's not going to happen. I do want to actually put a sleep dart on that guy because the really there's another flashlight guard there. And of course his aim is going to be almost impeccable. So we're just going to keep running and hopefully get to our destination, which I believe is actually on the ground and is right here. It is... Mojo Trap Action. I know you can't see it, I just know the name of the mission, because I have had a lot of history with this mission. And yes, I do mean bad history, not good history. That's it! I knew she'd have a bad mojo collector to transport the overflow! Huh? It's a semi-magical device that sucks up bad mojo! I'll need it to gather the runoff from these spouts! Wow! Sounds easy. Not really. Bad Mojo is a powerfully dark force. Take any damage while carrying that collector and you're done for. Wow. Sounds hard. Yes, it presents an interesting tactical challenge. Perhaps I could use the death traps native to these crypts against any foe that might attempt to thwart my collection of the ectoplasm. Huh? No, no way that'll work. I'd use that switch 
to smash up the guards before they ever got near me. Precisely. Once all four cylinders of the collection device are full, that should be enough black magic to destroy the mind shuffler. Okay, before anything happens, what is this? I just noticed it. It's like a weird male spider. Is Was this supposed to be the husband that the Contessa had that she basically stole the estate from? Oh, we actually have to press the circle button. Okay. I did not know you had to do that, even though it was saying right on top that you actually had to do that. But this mission, what you have to do is you have to use these switches to destroy the guards. Because if you get hit while you're collecting this mojo, it is a one-hit KO, and you have to restart the section of the mission. Luckily, you do not have to restart the entire mission. If you had to restart the entire mission, that would be god-awful. And I definitely mean god-awful because, oh god... Oh, if you had to restart the entire one, I probably would have rage quit this game so many times. Even though I rage quit this game when I was playing this when I was younger. If you want to know, this was one of the missions when I was younger that I could not beat for the, li for the life of me or the love of me. It does not matter. But I just could not beat this mission for some reason. And then... <laughs> What that made me do was I literally found a cheat code to skip to skip to the next episode and just skip the rest of episode 5 so I can beat the game and that's how I beat the game the first time I played it. Looks like the spouts run out of bad mojo. No matter, I'm one fourth of the way to a full tank. Yeah. Luckily later in life I did go I did play through the game again and actually beat that mission. So now it is not that hard. I can totally beat every mission in this game. Obviously, because if I could not beat every mission in this game, why would I be Let's Playing this unless it was like a blind Let's Play? You know, that's kind of bad of me saying that because I did try doing Crash 2, and Crash 2 didn't work out all, all that well. But that was because, like I said, it was slightly blind. Or at least not slightly blind, it was the first time of me playing through it, so I think it is not that bad. Now, if you do get hit outside of these areas, you actually go back to the last area you were at. You don't have to redo it, you just go right back to the door and you have to make your way to it. Now, Bentley puts codes in these doors to get through. I don't know how he knows what the codes are to get in the doors, but yeah, you just have to walk around the area and find the next areas that we have to go to in order to get the next bad mojo. I don't remember the pattern to this. We're going to try this as best as I can. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait till we get here. We're going to do that. And then I think you want to do this. And then we should be able to get this here. I'm not sure. I know this one gets that. And then we can do this Sorry, it might be me concentrating a lot, but some of these do have a legitimate pattern that you need to find, and this is one of them. Once you get the pattern down, it is perfectly fine. You just kind of have to go back and forth using the same things, and you should be able to get all of them. Now, I don't think this is the perfect pattern. I think I probably should have started with the one arrow, like, uh, not arrow, the one uh, swinging thing right here. I should have started with that one first, but I decided not to. Luckily, if you d if it does get a little bit out of control, you ca there is one in the back that I believe kills all of the enemies on the floor right now, which is really good. I believe the next one actually has sleeping gas, which it puts all the enemies to sleep, which I think you are forced to use that one, because in all honesty, even though I used to think this one was the hardest, the next one is definitely a lot harder than this one. And you will see why probably in the next episode, because I believe this is going to be the last one I do in this episode, because uh, I just don't think I have enough time without making this episode way too long to actually do the next two. Because if you don't know, there are four of these areas we have to go through. This is the second one, so we have two more. Why am I doing basic math for you guys? I have no idea. But I believe we're almost done with this section. Maybe, we'll, maybe we won't actually have to use the back one, which in all honesty, I don't think I usually ever use the back one when I'm doing this mission. I mean, when I first did the mission, I definitely did. But in all honesty, I think the main reason I had trouble with this part, of the, like at least this one, the second one as a kid, was because I never realized that there was a pattern. I kind of just did them willy-nilly to hopefully find out what they would do. But now that I've played this game many times, I know what they do, and it's pretty easy. Another chamber in my mojo collector is full. Moving on to the third crypt. 
And I have to say that that is about it for this episode of Sly 2 Band of Thieves. In the next episode, we are going to be continuing Mojo Trap action with Bentley, and we are going to be pausing the game, because if we have it unpaused, that flashlight guard might find me, and many bad things will happen. So, this has been Juddleplay saying see you later, and goodbye. Oh god, I felt a burp coming, so that outro was a little funky. Eh, who cares? My commentary is a little bit funky. We should probably end the episode right now.